Hello, everybody. I'm going to tell you a delightful story. Now, I want you to make yourselves comfortable and settle back. Now, are you all ready? Here we go. Hey, everybody. Someone plays games here. Today, we're going to teach you guys how to install a map from the workshop to your multiplayer Project Zomboid server. So, as soon as you've subscribed to their workshop map and it's downloaded, head on over to your uh, Steam apps folder, wherever that may be. Mine's on my second hard drive. So, you just hit Steam apps, and then you're going to head on over to uh, Workshop, and then Content, and the app ID for Project Zomboid is the one with uh, this one right here. Simple as that. And click on one of the free folders, you may have one or multiple. Uh, and one of these folders contains the actual map, the map inside, which we need. So whichever map you're uh, downloading, uh, look for that one. Uh, today we're going to be using the New Denver map. Uh, so we'll proceed to go through these files further, go through media, maps, and we're going to use this specific folder, which contains all the crap we need. So, copy that folder all over to your Project Zomboid folder, so that'll be under common. Project Zomboid. Uh, and then we go to Media, and then Maps, and you simply copy and paste the map just like so. Obviously, we're not going to do that. And then rename. Rename the folder to the actual town name it is. So it will be New Denver, uh, comma, BC. Alright. Once you've done that, head on over to the server files, which will be located under your C drive, your username, and it'll be right there somewhere at the bottom. Uh, open up the server folder and open server test, initiate with Notepad, or you can open it with Notepad. Open that and the spawn regions lower file. Once you have these two files open, uh, for the server test initiate for file, you'll be looking at two commands, uh, sorry, command lines, and that's going to be mods and map. So we're going to simply change Louisiana or whatever was there previously, and you're going to change that to New Denver. That was the uh, file name for the folder after mods. Uh, that mod folder. So, just to confirm, we'll head back over to Steam Apps Workshop, content, there, there, no, there, mods, New Denver, media, maps, and that is the mod name for that map. And that's what you enter in the mods command line. And for the map, it's its actual town name, so New Denver. BC. And it's as simple as that. Save it once you've done and close that tab. If the server test spawn region is lower, it's as simple as copying and pasting the line above that, making a new one, and simply typing in for the name, the town name, so New Denver, and for the file that it needs to locate, which is the spawn points, it would go media, maps, New Denver. BC, so again, the town name, and then all you gotta type, the, that's basically it really, once you've pasted it. And to double check if that spawn points lower file is in the map file, simply go to, uh, simply go to Steam Maps Common, Project Zomboid, Media, so I'll just show you here. The directory for this uh, spawn points file, file is in within media, so we're in media. Go to maps, and then we go to New Denver. And then the spawn points file should be within here. So we just type spawn, and it should come up. And there it is spawn points .lower, spawn points .lower. And It's as simple as that. Just like that. Once you've done that, save the. Uh, Save the file, close it, and then initiate the the server bat file, which is located within the Project Zomboids file folder. Uh, 
And if all goes well, you won't have any errors coming up in the um, console. If you do, it should tell you what the error was. It's the most likely thing would be you fucked up the server initiate or the spawn slower file. But everything here seems to be fine. No buildings have an oh, wow. And to double check, we'll open up this project somewhere. And we'll just load ourselves in the game to show that this fully worked. It's fully functioning. Online. Join the server. And there we go, we're loading in. Everything seems fine. There's nothing popping up bad on the console. And there we go! Just like that now. That's all the shit that's on the ground. Barbara's one god. <laughs> but, anyways, it's just like that. It's easy peasy. I'll show you that this is in the new Denver map. I don't know if I'm on the top building. But to show you, um, as you see here, this isn't one of the main maps, this is New Denver. Uh, I quickly just run away from these zombies. And yes, that's it. that is my character name, Ezra Nipples. Fuck me. Please have a secondary window. Oh, you bastard. Uh, but anyways. I actually quite like in De uh, New Denver's map, it's really awesome. We haven't fully explored this place, but it, it looks fucking amazing. And it's a huge map, so... You know? Uh, too many windows. Oh, great, I hold. Love it, it? But, uh, anyways... Uh, I hope this worked for you as it did for me. It was annoying as fuck trying to get this shit working. Um, if you have any questions and shit, go to the comment sections, you know. Push a comment in there. Um, if you get stuck or anything, I do have the guide. It's all written. And what the fuck? It's all written there. If you really need help, and if you comment there as well. Uh, other than that, hope this video helped you out, and uh, catch you guys later.